how to do a manual payment in sap for that we'll use transaction code f-53 before that we'll check uh, what are the open invoices we have so these are the open invoices we have let's say we are going to pay this one 5000 100 and i have a vendor 10101 so i'm going to make the payment for this particular invoice so we'll go to transaction code f-53 press enter and give posting date as today's date and any reference let's say payment 0001 and the account bank account details i will give this is my bank account number i will give the bank gl here and amount i am going to pay is 100 and value date i will give uh, normally two to three days future date is also fine i will give today's date based upon the company uh, provided information we have to give the value date give the text and here i will give the same vendor details here so this is my vendor so i am giving this vendor details here click on process open item so as we understood like we i am want i want to make payment for this particular invoice so here if you see it is showing balance of 100 so what i will do is i will deselect all i'm just selected my invoice which i want to pay and now you can see is the balance is zero now i can make a payment click on post so it will create a payment document along with the invoice uh, this one 5100 so if you see here 15001 is the invoice got posted means payment document got posted so here if i go back and refresh it so you cannot see the open invoice here go back and just execute again so you will not see that 51000 ending with 2 now what we can do is we will go back and we'll click on the open invoices just go back click on the open items all items and execute again so here you will see 51000 is processed under clear item so this is how you can make the payment and this is how you can see open items and the clear items and this is a transaction code i have used fbl 1n and for making a payment we'll use f-53 transaction code okay and for checking the vendor balances slash and fbl 1n so this is the vendor balances you can check here vendor related information along with the payment related information okay thank you